Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Steve coming back with another video. Uh, I'm thankful to be here with y'all again. I hope everybody's doing good and having a good evening. Hey, brothers and sisters, I want to come back uh, with a video today, a very, very, very important message uh, for y'all. Um, brothers and sisters, I'm going to blow the horn. I'm going to blow the trumpet. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to stand in the gap as a believer, first and foremost, for the Most High. Ahaya, Basha, Mishaya, Mubawa, Kadesh, and Christ. Brothers and sisters, it seems that there's a lot of a lot of us right now, some of us right now have, a, you know, some, some uh, what I call uh, moments of confusion based upon what's going on right now in this, in this so-called scandemic. And yeah, that's what I'm going to call it because, <clears throat> excuse me, brothers and sisters, a lot of us right now are seeing a lot of things unfolding in the earth right now that was prophesied in Matthew uh, 24. Christ gave us a count. Uh, Revelations and Timothy, uh, Book of Timothy, told us we would be in these particular times, okay? Brothers and sisters, I want to remind every single one of you that uh, your walk with the Most High is extremely important right now, and your faith in Christ is very, very, very uh, important right now in terms of how you walk and how you talk and how you think and so on and so forth. Okay, brothers and sisters, I want to share a story with y'all. You guys got to forgive me. I've been out and about and moving. Got a little juice here. Hold on for a second. Excuse me. Brothers and sisters, before I get into the story, I want to, once again, for anybody that's new to this channel, welcome. This is Brother Steve, a brother that's in the work for the Most High in Christ for his people. To all the Hebrews and Gentiles, black and white, Brothers, brothers Jacob, Esau, and the Gentile nations. That's who I'm here for. Yes, this one particular Hebrew Israelite is going to speak, and I'm going to speak to the Most High's people. The Most High reigns supreme on that throne, and this earth is his footstool. And right now in this hour, he's using his people to speak and encourage the body of Christ, which is you. All right? Brothers and sisters, before I get into that, that story here, for those of you who may not be aware, uh, Brother Steve, he liked to use what you call, <clears throat> excuse me, he liked to use what you call the, the King James Version Bible, okay? I always like to show it so brothers and sisters that are new to this channel can see where I'm coming from with, with my messages, okay? For those who are new, I also use the King James Version Apocrypha. I'm sorry. Here you go. Okay, I'm going to be touching this a little bit today. And brothers and sisters, I may go ahead and use the new Oxford Annotated Bible with the Apocrypha. I might use that today also, okay? Maybe. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> so, what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about. Okay. Brothers and sisters, listen, I ain't your pastor, and I ain't went to the church that you went to. It don't matter. It don't matter, and I could care less. I love you. See, y'all don't know me like that. Y'all getting to know me, and it's all good. And I don't have to have come from the same mother or father to be connected with you. OK, that's the blessing of a believer, a brother serving the most high in Christ in truth and spirit, a brother that's vulnerable, a brother that's not seeking validation or approval from men, a brother that loves the word of the most high, that loves my Lord and Savior Christ. See, I don't, I'm not afraid to speak and say certain things. See, I do speak from the mind and I speak from this. And I know y'all in the, in, the, in the world we live in it right now, that's a rarity. You understand, people scared to speak. You know what I'm saying? Well, guess what? That ain't me. I've always been a fighter. I've always walked like a man. I've made my mistakes. I've fallen short. I've failed many times. And I'm still here. 
And the Most High took me through it like he took y'all through it. So I'm going to speak to y'all today. For those, <clears throat> for those brothers and sisters right now that are, that are what I call uh, indecisive in terms of making a decision concerning the big V, Satan's water or the serpent's sting. You know what I'm talking about. Don't you dare let up right now. Don't you dare let up right now. I don't care what you're seeing out there in this earth. Brothers and sisters, a um, couple weeks ago, I was, uh, I was uh, at a gas station. Okay? I was at a gas station. a little rascal, but it's all good. I've been talking all day, brothers and sisters. It's okay. I always got time for y'all. So I was at a gas station. I had to stop and get myself some gas. Okay. And in the process, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, I ended up uh, meeting a brother at the gas station. He was pumping his gas and I was getting mine. Okay. So he was an older brother. He's a little bit older than me. Uh, and uh, we asked one another how we doing and this and that and that and this. And and basically the brother, you know, he's talking about, basically we was talking about society. Uh, we was talking about the condition, uh, the state of the state of mind and condition of how people are operating out here concerning uh, uh, their fellow brothers and sisters. Uh, we talked about a plethora and amount of, of, of a variety of different topics. Uh, to make a long story short, brothers and sisters, the brother brought up the big V about what people are getting, people that are running to take it. The brother divulged that he was a pastor of a church. Pretty well-known church uh, uh, in the city, city of Detroit. So you tell me he had a very, very you know, pretty lar uh, nice, large-sized uh, congregation, and he explained to me in the, in the conversation how he was encouraging all his parishioners or his his congregation, uh, people in his church, to take the big V. And I'm going to be honest with you, brothers and sisters. I sat there listening to him talk. And, you know, he was talking. And I'm going to tell you, I, I noticed a lot of pride. This guy here, this pastor, over a church that was called to lead his flock. I listened to him. And he told me, he said, young man, he said, I believe in this. You got to trust the science. Got to trust the science. Now, mind you, brothers and sisters, I didn't mention anything. I just listened. It was one of those moments where I just listened to this pastor over a church talk. I did like this the whole time. And that still small voice that I was telling y'all about the other day told me to shut up and be quiet. Mind you, brothers and sisters, he ain't really know nothing about me. You know, I'm playing like, I'm not really playing, but I'm listening. I'm listening very intently. I'm, I'm, just like the Bible say, quick to hear, slow to speak. So while I'm listening to this brother talk, I'm looking at the prime. I'm thinking about so many th different things are running through my mind. Mainly sheep being led to a slaughter by a so-called pastor that's supposed to be over his flock. Now, I didn't have anger. I had more so disappointment. 
Because here it is. This brother's supposed to be standing for the most high in Christ. And brothers and sisters, I want to ask him so bad. Hey, brother. If Christ was here, what would Christ do? I wanted to ask him. But I was told, shut up. Be quiet. Don't say anything. So brothers and sisters, I listened to him talk. All I could be, all I was thinking was lack of knowledge, ignorant, ignorant, ignorant. I did ask him before he got in, in depth in terms of him telling uh, his position on the signs. I did ask him, I said, brother, hey, did you, did you research? Did you find out or research to see what was in this? Brothers, brothers and sisters, real quickly, y'all may not know, I did a video, if y'all go through my playlist, I did a video uh, talking about a bowl of red porridge. Go watch it. I did a video, if y'all scroll down on my, my playlist, a video about the bowl of red porridge. Watch it. So brothers and sisters, I ain't, I ain't say nothing. I let them talk. I let him talk and I just listen. Towards the end of this conversation, well, you know, I did say, uh, I did say shalom to him and everything else. And he said, all right, brother, you be out, you be safe out here. You stay strong. I'm like, all right, man. I'm, I'm like, all right. And I just, I just looked at him. Brothers and sisters, this was a man of the most high, supposedly encouraging his entire church to take the big V. Encouraging his people to take Satan's water. Encouraging his people to take the stinger. Like I said before at the beginning of this video, I'm not your pastor. I'm your brother in Christ. And I consider myself a watchman. Even with all my mistakes and my weaknesses and my sin nature, I love the Most High in Christ to tell you as a leader, as a follower of Christ, a believer, don't you dare take that. Don't you dare take it. You better stand on your promises of Christ. Christ promised long life, wealth, health and biblical abundance. And I'm speaking that for every single one of you out there today. The Most High had promises for those that love him and keep his law, statutes, commandments in Christ. Don't you get weak right now in this hour. Don't you dare make a decision that you're going to regret based upon you seeing people dying or passing away. And brothers and sisters, we mourn with those who have lost loved ones. Parents, uncles, aunts, brothers, sisters. Listen, brothers and sisters, we mourn with them. Those of you who are considering taking that stinger, ask yourself a question. What would Christ do? See, I'm just brother Steve. You understand? I ain't no, hey, look, I ain't nothing but Brother Steve. See, Brother Steve know what Brother Steve gonna do. I'm gonna follow the most high in Christ and stand on my convictions and promises and understand that my ancestors made it through. The most high led those that put his trust and faith in the most high, through the desert, through the Red Sea, the acquisition of the land of Jordan, the promises for those that loved him. Once again, brothers and sisters, Christ promised wealth, health, and biblical abundance. Promises. 
Your positioning, your mindset has to be straightforward. Regardless of all the commotion, the pestilence in the earth right now. Moments of loneliness. Brothers and sisters, I was separated two and a half years, homeless out here. Nobody. Nobody. But the most high in Christ. And I sit back and I look at all the people that had left this earth in that time, all the way up to now, that didn't have the word. They didn't have no encouragement. Brothers and sisters, I prayed my way through. No psychologists, no psychotherapists, no, me no medicine or psychotropic uh, additives or drugs. No, all I had was my belief and my prayer. Downtrodden, broken in half and every damn thing. And the most high sent people along my way. And I have, and brothers and sisters, I had moments where I was just weak. I wanted to give up and die. But I knew I couldn't because I had two children that I love very much. And I'm a father. And I wanted to live. And I kept my children on my mind. I took my boy and my girl, my little baby and my little boy. The entire time. Saying, Daddy got to keep going because I kept thinking about their smiles. I kept thinking about looking in at both their eyes, looking at my strong, masculine son and looking at my, my beautiful, feminine daughter. I thought about them and I thought about the promises of the Most High in Christ. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I kept saying that every single day. I kept saying the Most High is the reward of those who diligently seek him in faith. I kept saying that every day and I applied that to my life every single day. I had moments, I had way more, brothers and sisters, I had moments that were difficult, broken. Y'all also had the same thing that went through that too. And we still here. Don't you see, sit up here and get weak now. Indecisive because you're seeing people unfortunately passing away. Brothers and sisters, whatever happened to influenza? Huh? Whatever happened to flu? Well, flu don't exist no more, huh? You understand? Flu just don't exist no more. Right? Brothers and sisters, don't get it twisted. Coronavirus in itself, we know what that is. That's a medical, biological term. I got a, a, a background in biology. I know what that is. It's part of the influenza family. There's nothing new about it. You want to take an enzyme called luciferase? Are you serious? You better do some work and some research. And I don't care. I'm going to say what needs to be said. You a year and a half in this thing, two years almost, and we still here fighting, enduring, striving, biting a bullet, talking, preaching, walking, huh? All oh, glory and praise to the Most High, Ahia Bashim Shai. He'll never forsake his sons and daughters. Don't you get fearful now and start doubting the supernatural power of the Most High God of Israel. Don't you start now. You gird yourself up in the promises. Son, daughters, you understand me? And I tell you this because I love you. I tell you this because I love every single one of you. I love every single one of you. See, I have an agape love. See, it ain't emotion. No, it's an agape. It's a, it's a rewak on spirit love. To see y'all live in the midst of biblical tribulation and prophecy being fulfilled right now. How many of those are running 
to save their life. To go to their damn clubs. To travel. Free weed. Damn donuts. Fish dinners. Lotteries. Prizes. What is their life worth? Fear of death. What is it? Is it the fear of death? The Most High gave us power, love, and a sound mind. But we are to operate in wisdom with power. Not our power. His power. The Most High. By believing in His Son, the Son of Man, Yeshua. Yeshua. Christ. Jesus. That's right. That's right. Brothers and sisters, if you got your Bibles, <clears throat> let's go to Psalms 91. Let's go. If you got your Bibles, let's go to Psalms 91. Okay? Psalms 91, please. Psalms 91. Let's go. Listen up. Listen up. Psalms 91, and it states this. This is what it says, y'all. Here we go, brothers and sisters. This is what it states. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. See that? He or she that dwelleth in the secret place. So you have to abide spiritually mentally and you have to believe on his word because his word states it his word states it dwell in the secret place huh verse 2 I will say to the, of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God and him will I trust Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. See that, brothers and sisters? Noisome pestilence. Every day is something. Death, 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 death. You know, disease, 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 disease. Uh, 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 mass, 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 mass. It's repetitive. It's perpetual. It's psychological. Damaging to your spirit. So you have to be able to recognize what's happening in front of you. These people are forgers of lies. Forgers of lies. Turn the damn TV off. Be watchful. Stay in tuned. Stay focused with your father's business. Or whatever you're doing. Brothers and sisters. Verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers. And under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Huh? See that, brothers and sisters? Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor from the arrow that flieth by day, nor from the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Here we go, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Check this out. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right side. 
it says right hand, but you get the message. But it shall not come near or nigh thee. So regardless of what you're saying right now in terms of how this particular disease is impacting other people around you, you are to hold on to the promises of the Most High. And I'm not saying be ignorant of taking a position of ignorance concerning if you get sick, use wisdom. If you have to use, utilize a hospital, a facility, utilize it. If you don't have to go, you can fight it off, pray it through, take necessary medicinal preparation in your house. The same way that you've done to take care of yourself during sicknesses, do the same thing now. And if it progresses and you feel it physiologically, take your ass to the hospital and do what you have to do. But you are not to take anything in that body. Use your mind and wisdom. Don't let the delusion that's going on right now impact your spiritual understanding, brothers and sisters. Verse 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hand lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the lion and the snake, an adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under foot or feet. Because he hath set his love upon me. Brothers and sisters, therefore will I, who is I, the most high, therefore will I, the almighty I am that I am, deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Hallelujah to the Most High God, Ahaya Bashi Mishaya. All glory and praise to the Most High. In the name of our Son, your Son, your Shai, Christ Jesus. He gets the thanks and praise. And that's why it has to continually be out your mouth. You have to hold on to the promises. The promises have to be in your heart, like the law. Christ, Christ our Lord and Savior. The promises have to be written on the heart. When I say the heart, I'm talking about the mind. Because the mind, based upon what we see in, through the optical visions of the world, can be impacted. Uh, it could be confused. It could be what we call, uh, go through levels of degeneration. It becomes degenerate based upon the lie told by what? Forgers of lies. Continual programming. Perpetual programming. Be not deceived. Stand firm on the foundation of Christ in the words of the Most High and His promises. That's what I'm trying to tell you, brothers and sisters. Verse 15, he shall call upon me and I, who is I, the most high, will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With what? Long life. 
will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Brothers and sisters, this is deliverance through the tribulation. And the deliverance through tribulation requires what? Complicity. Complicity. You have to be complicit with this word. You have to be in what? Agreement with this word. See, there's a level of agreement. You have to be firm. You have to stand on a cornerstone and promises of our Lord and Savior, Christ, whom the world hates. What else do we have? What else do we have, brothers and sisters? Hold on to your promises and believe it in the Most High Christ. Cast out every spear of fear, every spear of doubt, every spear of uncertainty, and acknowledge that you're only flesh and dust to the Most High. That he will honor his promise with his sons and daughters. Stay repentant. Don't stay in a place of worry. Cast out every spirit of worry. Cast it out and bind those demonic spirits to the death's hell in the name of Yeshua Christ Jesus. In his name. Brothers and sisters, I wanted to just come to you with um, a reminder. If you are weak in the faith right now, let this message remind you and play it back. That's right. Those that are weak right now, those who are considering making an irreversible decision, not knowing long-term effect or impact. I want to see Zion, don't you? It's more profitable for me and you to be here than be gone. Sitting in a spirit of heaviness, being tormented, based upon a decision, a fear. Let it not be you. Brothers and sisters, I want to thank every single one of you. May the Most High God and Christ continue to bless you. Shalom. Brother Steve, I'm out. Peace. Y'all stay